Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, got a project we're gonna be starting on here today, uh, getting this thing taken apart. And what I've got here, this is a new table that I'm gonna be putting over on my Carlton drill press. It's a tilting, what they call a universal table. Uh, basically, you can take this uh, table and tilt it to different angles. It also rotates around on a column down here on the bottom. And it just gives you more versatility uh, when using a big, uh, uh, radial drill like that. If you need to drill it a hole at an angle or something like that, you can actually tilt the work to whatever precision angle you need and uh, do it. So this is going to be an improvement over the one I have now, which is just a straight 90 degree uh, flat on the top and 90 degree on the side uh, table. Now, I picked this up from a gentleman down in Florida who had purchased it from someplace up north at some point in time. It does have some issues. I've got a big chunk missing out of the base down here on one side, unfortunately. Uh, and we're going to we're going to we're going to do a repair to that. We're going to fix that, and I'll talk more about that later on. But the goal for today is uh, I'm going to get this thing taken apart. I want to take it completely apart so that we can go through it. We can properly clean, repaint, uh, and fix any other issues that I might not be able to see as it is right now. Uh, but big reason is, is to kind of make this thing more manageable. This thing is extremely heavy. I don't know how much it weighs, probably five, 600 pounds, I'm guessing. And uh, I, I, I just want to get this bottom casting down to something more manageable where I can deal with it to do this repair a little bit easier than having to deal with all this massive weight. So let's get in here and see if we can figure out how to take this thing apart. Just a quick look here to kind of show you this uh, area down here uh, where we got the broken casting. And again, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna fix this later on, but I, did, I know folks wanna see that, so I'll give you a quick peek at it. So let's first take a look at how this thing works so that we can kind of get a plan on how it takes apart. So the table, the top piece is a separate casting and it pivots, there's a pivot point that goes all the way through there. So there's a rod that goes all the way through the, the whole casting and that's what that pivots on. And on the side here, we got this uh, worm gear set up that goes out to a uh, little uh, stob there in the front that you turn a handle and that turns this worm. You loosen up the bolts on the side on these trunnions and that will allow you to crank that and actually rotate it. And we have a scale that's in here that tells us, uh, you know, approximately what angle it's gonna be at. So, um, and then of course down here on the bottom, you got the base, there's four bolts here to hold this together and that whole base just uh, spins around on a pivot point. And uh, I will have to get in there and figure out exactly how all that works a little bit later on. But to start with taking this thing apart, what I wanna do is I wanna get the, the gear and the, the, the worm gear and the worm mechanism off the side over here. And then I think what we'll have to do is, is knock that pin out all the way through there. And we'll probably have to suspend the table here using my engine hoist uh, while we're doing that to support it up while we're uh, driving that pin out. So let's get over here and uh, start say, taking some parts off. So it looks like we got a couple of socket cap screws that are kind of holding this uh, worm in here. So let's see if we can take those off. Take a dead blow hammer. I think we should be able to, yeah, take this right out of there. Okay, so I, I think we're gonna have to take this trunnion off before we can get that out, it looks like. What's holding it on there? There's some pins. There's two pins that are going here for alignment. And we got this nut up under the bottom. I don't know, maybe if I remove that nut, I can get it to slide off. Let me take that nut off. All right, maybe that'll give me some clearance in there. Let's see. Okay, so that's a good sign. All right, 
All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take this uh, bolt out here. This is basically what locks it in place. Uh, there's one of these on either side of the trunnions. And we'll just go ahead and pull that completely out. I'm gonna leave the one on the other side tight for the moment. Uh, I don't know if this table will tilt very easily or not, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave it in there. And let's go ahead and take those socket cap screws out. here on the, the shaft that goes through here that this pivots on, there's two little set screws and those look like they're just there to kind of key it in place. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. There's one. And there's two. Now when I go to put this back together, I'm gonna make sure, need to make sure this shaft is in here in the right position. Even those two holes, that if you turn it 180 degrees, more than likely they won't line up. So um, what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna put a little witness mark in here and uh, what this does is it uh, just gives me an indication as to where things go together. So I'm gonna put a, just a punch mark here and another punch mark here. And now when I go back to put this together, I can look for those punch marks and uh, line it up. This trunnion should hopefully come off. Get in here with a pry bar. Yeah. I don't want to smash a finger in here. There it comes. And you can see the original paint color. It wasn't always red. All right. So over on this other side, uh, we got a bushing on this end that's holding the shaft in place and there's a set screw in here that holds that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that set screw and we can hopefully get this uh, off. Um, hmm. I don't think there's any other things holding it. Let me get a big pair of pliers and see if I can twist that and get it loosened up. Yeah. About need a one size bigger on my pliers here. There we go. So I think the next thing we're gonna to have to do here is knock this pin all the way out. And I don't want, I want this table to kind of be supported. So I'm, I'm gonna get a engine hoist and hook it from the top, but I'm gonna also make sure that I got these trunnion locks locked down good and tight so it'll hold them in place while I'm doing it. I'm gonna put the one on the other side back in. And uh, between that and some weight supporting it, hopefully we can drive that pin out without too much trouble. So again, I got the engine hoist now hooked in. I got just a little bit, little bit of tension on this. This is tight, but it's not, you know, picking up the whole thing at this point. Hopefully that will hold it up a little bit. Between that and the screws I got in the trunnions should help as well. And uh, we're gonna see if we can break this loose. Um, I got a brass drift here, four pound hammer. Let's see what happens. Didn't feel like nothing happened.
Yeah, it's going now. I've soaked down the whole inside of this thing with some penetrating oil. This is some uh, knocker loose by CRC. Some stuff they sent me. I, I've used some of this stuff before, it's pretty good. So uh, hopefully that'll help, help that piece come on out. Let's uh, get back at it here. That's a good sign. I'm past the trunnion here that's on the outside and everything's still in alignment, uh, which tells me this thing hasn't, isn't going to drop down. That was one thing I was worried about was if this thing gets uh, cockeyed in there, it's going to bind it up on the other side, but hopefully uh, it'll drive on out. All right coming good now whenever it broke loose there it that tap pushed it in there a long ways so I'm gonna all right I'm gonna have to get a longer something to push on this now Here's where I need that third hand again. I don't want this shaft to just come flying out the end. There it comes. I was driving that with a pointed piece and I was able to get it right up in that center hole that was in here so I wasn't mushrooming anything, uh, but we got that out, that's good. Now, let's see if we can get this table to come off. I'm gonna remove the, my screws. I ended up putting a Schrager bolt in this end because the other one was too long because it went completely through that trunnion, but we're just trying to support it more than anything else. So let's uh, take this one out. Take the one off the other side. <clears throat> Aha, that's a positive sign. Now, all right, now with any luck, we're able to lift the table right off. It's like it's coming up. I'm just turning that around so that I can hopefully come straight off of this thing now. Might have to go up a little bit more. All right, I think we are loose now. So let me, uh, Very good. All right, we got down to this casting and I want to separate the base from the pedestal here. Uh, this just again rotates around. 
there's uh, four bolts that are uh, holding this down where you lock it down. And it looks like, eh, I can't tell. I think it's just rotating on this outer piece. I don't think there's anything in the middle in there that it's sitting on. There may be a pin in there, I can't tell. Yeah, there is a pin in there in the middle, but there, it's just sitting on that. So uh, anyway, let's uh, see if we can get all these off. All right, let's put a sling through here and we'll take a take a clevis now. All right, here we go. Capture that in there. And let's lift her up. Just trying to spread those out wide so I'm lifting some from both sides. And there she comes. And she's loose. All right. And now I'm down to this last casting and this is what I wanted to get to to be manageable so I can look at doing a repair on this. So uh, we got these T-bolts. There's a hole right here in the bottom of the casting. So I'm going to just kind of lean this over right off the edge of the table a little bit, roll that around and those will drop right out. All right, so now I can get up underneath the bottom of that and again, figure out what we need to do to make a new casting to go in there uh, to fix that. Well, there we go. I think we got our universal table now broken down into its three main components, its three main castings. And uh, next step for me is gonna be to get these outside, uh, get them cleaned up real good. I've got a pressure washer. I'm probably just gonna use that, some degreaser, get everything cleaned up real good. We'll go ahead and get all the paint stripped off of these castings uh, while we're at it. And uh, we'll repaint it and get it all fixed up as we're putting it back together. But uh, my next big step is really to get in here and work on this repair. And my, my game plan, guys, is, is I'm gonna make a pattern for this missing piece. We're gonna cast a new piece to go in here and then I'm gonna braise a new piece back in so that we have that fixed up where it will look nice and be functional again. Uh, and with as much um, mass as there is in this, I feel like I'll be able to get a good braise job on there and uh, it'll, it'll last forever. Really and truly, it, th this thing's sitting solid just like it is um, so it's not really got a lot of pressure on this corner over here, but I'll feel a lot better having it on there and it's gonna look a lot better as well. So that's my game plan. We'll probably do a video when we start working on getting that worked out, uh, but I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. So that's gonna be a wrap on this video, uh, but you get to see how this thing came apart. Putting it back together is gonna be fun as well. Uh, getting that pin lined up is probably gonna be the worst part of it and getting that pin driven back in there, but uh, I think we can do it. I think it'll be fine. So that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Leave me comments, and uh, we'll catch you next time around. Thanks for watching.